The objective is to interpret division word problems as either the number of groups unknown or group size unknown. 156 students are going on a field trip. If each car can hold four students, how many cars will be needed? Let's write a focused answer first. Blank cars will be needed. Will there be more students or more cars? Right, more students than cars. Let's, let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. What will we label the whole as? Right, 156 and 156 people. Are we finding the size of each group or the number of groups? Right, we're finding the number of groups. The question is for the number of groups that we have. And then so what we'll draw on our tape diagram is we'll go ahead and draw a four here, and we're trying to figure out how many of those groups that we have. So we'll go like this here, right in the tape diagram. And the way that we figure it out, we can set up our division problem of 156, and we're seeing how many fours are within 156. Four goes into can't go into that 100, but it can go into the 15 tens. It goes into the 15 tens three whole times because 3 times 4 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3, and we bring down the 6 so that we have 36 ones divided by 4, where we get 9 because 9 times 4 is 36, and 36 minus 36 is 0. So that there are 39 fours within 156. That is, there are 39 cars that will be needed to go ahead and carry those 156 students. So what we had here was a question mark to show that we didn't know how many cars were needed. We did know that there were cars that could hold four students each. Danessa has 1,264 milliliters of punch. She pours it into four containers. How many milliliters are in each container? Can we draw something to help us solve this problem? Yeah, we can. Let's draw a tape diagram to help us solve this problem. What will the hole be labeled? Right. We're going to label it. 1,264 milliliters. What is it that we're trying to figure out? Right, here's the question. How many milliliters are in each container? Do we know the size of each of these groups? No. However, what we do know is that we know that there are four containers. We know the number of groups. So we know the number of groups is 4. Since we know the number of groups is 4, we can take this tape diagram and divide it into those 4 containers. And then we just need to figure out how much is it within each of those containers. And we know that there's going to be the same amount there. Let's write out a focused answer. There are blank milliliters of punch. Let's make sure to write of punch because we want to know what type of liquid it is in each container. And in this case, to figure that out, we do set up a division problem where we have 1,264, those milliliters, and we're pouring it into each of those four containers. Four cannot go into that one. 4 can go into the 12 of the 1,200. It goes in 3 whole times, because 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down the 6 tens there. That 6 divided by 4 is 1, because 1 times 4 is 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. 
put it together with those 1s there, we have 24 1s divided by 4, which is 6, because 6 times 4 is 24, and 24 minus 24 is 0. So the number of milliliters is 316 milliliters within each of those containers. So 316, 316, 316, 316. This sounds reasonable in that four 300s would be 1,200 milliliters. I could, and in the previous problem I didn't run a check. However, in this problem, I remembered, so we'll run a check for it. It's always better to run a check just in case and to always think whether or not your answer is reasonable. Okay, it's your turn to try. Make sure to draw a tape diagram, read the question carefully, and then also write out that focused answer. Pause the video while you do your work. We know the number of groups this time because we have those bags. Hopefully you labeled the whole as the 1,236 stickers. And then you divided the tape diagram into those three parts. Just needed to know how many stickers goes in each of those bags. You would set up that problem with the 1,236 and then carefully you did your work to be able to show that work, to show that understanding of how to do that division problem. And in doing those that division problem and following through with that, you would be able to know that there are 412 stickers in each of those bags. In this case, we knew the number of groups that we had for the problem. Here is one more problem for you. We'll read it together, and then pause the video while you do your work. Mr. Yen needs five papers for each group of students. He has 512 papers. How many groups can he have? So based upon those papers, how many groups can he have? Go ahead and draw a tape diagram. Pause the video while you're doing your work. Make sure to express your answer clearly. The whole is labeled 512 for those papers. We don't know the number of groups this time. However, we do know that each of the groups needs five of those papers. So that's why we are labeling our tape diagram as follows. In doing our work, we have 512, we're dividing it by five. And of course, we expressed our answer clearly. Mr. Yen can have blank groups. So each of those groups needs those five papers. Five goes into five one whole time. One times five is five. Five minus five is zero. We bring down the one. We place a zero into the quotient because zero times five is zero. That was one divided by five there. And then when we subtracted, we got one, bringing down the two. It was 12 divided by 5, which is 2, because 2 times 5 is 10, and 12 minus 10 is 2. So that the remainder is 2. 102 groups is how many groups that he can have. Compare your answer with this one here. So the idea is we either know the number of groups that we have, or, or, we don't know the number of groups. And then so there's different strategies that we would end up taking to be able to show how we are approaching those problems. In each case, definitely make sure to express that answer clearly. And when you can, run through that check to make sure that after all of your work that you have solved those problems correctly. In this case, that extra two would be the two leftover papers that Mr. Yen would have that wouldn't go to those groups there.